we've had over two inches of rain and that's the first time i've had standing water here in a long a year over a year garden see how it looks see if there's any standing water in it let's go see what the range gauge says on it too some standing water here. Let's see what the range gauge. Wow, look at that. Almost getting close to three inches and we still got more rain coming. I think I'll leave that so I can actually see how much rain we got. But yeah, there's some standing water. It's all over here. That's a little trench I dug last year to run some of that water out there I'll probably redo this a little bit so all this will drain good there's a tomato fixing to turn there's tomato fixing to turn red tomatoes are going to start changing color cantaloupe I think this cantaloupe might be ready what do you think still got some watermelon a little tomato cherry tomatoes here Corn's probably getting close. I don't know. We'll just have to see. I'll let it go for a while. Oh, look at the cute little cucumbers. See? There's one there. You can see how big it is. I don't see any other big ones. I picked a bunch of them. There's some over there, but I got some pickling to do today from what I picked so okay let's go check out the totes in the rain barrel see what we got a little muddy here next year this fall I'm going to take this and build a gravel path that goes out to there. So, these barrels are full. That one's running over. That's the overflow. How about the totes? I left it open. Totes are full. You know how you tell? water right there. Toes are full. So they're all full like that. So that's 825 gallons right there. And those barrels are 200, I mean a hundred I believe. They're 50, 55 gallons each I think. So a little over a hundred. I cleaned that out just a second ago. That was dirty. So I think I'm gonna drain the first flush. Shows you how much water's in here. Water's all the way up to here before it goes off into the totes. So let's open it up. Holes in there, it's clogged up. Ugh, see, that's all clogged up. Okay, now it's open. Okay, close it back up.
And the reason for the first flush is any grime that comes off that roof falls straight into there first, fills up to this point, and then that's when it goes off that direction into the totes. So all the dirt and grime falls down here first. This kind of helps keep, plus I have this screened in thing. This is a handy little tool if anybody is thinking about setting up a rain harvesting system. These are pretty cool. But anyway, that's it. Eight hundred and twenty five gallons full plus the hundred or so on the barrels. So I won't be watering for a couple of days, a few days. Later y'all.